combination of straw and then it's top dressed with uh, wood shavings. Sand base, there's sand underneath it so uh, so it can... So you just keep adding stuff to it? Or? Right. Okay. Yep. September, October, we always start with straw because it's a better insulator so it keeps the calves warmer. And then as they get older they develop a, a furry coat and then uh, so the wood shavings are, are adequate. They're actually a better absorber. So you get them when they're how old? We asked for between three and ten days. Today the three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Today uh, they'll move out. If you go much beyond this, they start going through too much bedding because they're getting bigger. They're drinking more. So you don't have to get while they're in here. Okay. When they're gone, we pull all the gates out. Somebody comes with a skid steer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to have a little <laughs> uh, So the roof is actually clear. Um, and then in the summertime, we pull these to give them shade. And in the wintertime, the idea is to pull them back uh, to let in some sun. These happen to be the guys that go outside as well. There's a door in the back there. Uh, 450 to 500 pounds, yeah. Maintaining about uh, 11, 12 degrees just with their own body heat. Then if it really gets cold, then the furnace will kick in to give them a little supplemental heat. So what are these, 16 weeks? These are the same age, 18. Oh, are they? Yeah. But what happens now is they come over from the start part, they're in, on two different machines, they come together on one machine, and now whichever side performs better goes out at 19 weeks, this side's going to get an extra week. Okay. And we'll throw 30 calves on the other side once the one side is shipped. So we'll have 30 30 all through next week. Obviously, hold up. We use it for veal feed. And then this machine just feeds lightning fast because it doesn't have to mix anything. Wow. Yeah. I've got my technical result. I've got the, the results of the group, how many dead ones, why they died, uh, how many bags of feed. And then I've got here all my starting information, where they originated from, how much they weighed, how much I paid for the calf, daily gain. KCT, feed conversion, medicine cost, grain, and age. And then I summarize all that. And I'll summarize it by source as well. So this particular grower gave me 18 calves, of which I was able to ship 16.